and have that opportunity when you're feeling good about yourself as a hockey team because you'll have you know 23 guys sitting down to dinner instead of 12 different dinners you know they, they, they hang together more so and then you'd get back on the ice and get up and down the ice and get, try to get used to the time changes and get ready for for a real tough opponent Matty Perot there in non-contact today. Can you give us kind of an update or what the calendar looks like for him moving forward? Well, the first, you know, he, he kind of passed the stage today for us as he got through an entire day on on his uh, on his skates, and uh, so it's going to be pain tolerance and then conditioning a bit because we haven't been able to do a lot with it. But I, I can't give you a time frame of that. I don't have a plan in the next two. I know you guys measure scoring chances as the primary thing, but are you concerned at all by the number of shots against this year so far? We've had some bigger numbers against them, not overly concerned. So we would be more concerned about uh, chance quality and be more into, you know, that kind of expected goals. If you're into the analytics, we would put a little bit more emphasis on that. Are you doing a better job of keeping teams to the outside? Is that what you would say then? Or? Making sure they don't get the second crack at it, you know, or, and, and uh, we're a little more passive in our PK than we'd like to be. A lot of teams are shooting pucks, they're getting running big numbers on the, but the shot control and then um, where they're coming from, we're much better at handling right now. Paul uh, Vegas starting so well, especially at home, naturally leads people say they got the best home ice advantage in the league just because of this city. And do you think that has anything to do with why they've been so good at home and maybe visiting teams have struggled, that teams come into Vegas and maybe get caught up in, in whatever? No, I, I don't. I think their team's better than people thought it would be. I think that's the key piece to all of this. And they play at home, they get a better matchup. They got a good hockey team. They play a good structured game and they can counter real fast on you. And they get the best team in the league on, on rush defense. So I think it's all on ice. I think. And I got to be honest with you, I think that they've passed through that kind of surprising teams window. We've all seen them play enough games now. It's a good hockey team, well coached, very well structured. They don't give up anything off the rush. A lot of teams early on, I think, expected they'd be able to just move the puck easily or roll through the neutral zone and get their scoring chances. Found out after they lost the game that that wasn't going to happen. So that's our task here this week is to make sure we understand what they're good at.